Well, you know, it's a busy time of year for holiday shopping, and sometimes those would-be thieves and predators are lurking around parking lots and garages looking for an opportunity. And because we're all women here helping other women, we want to be able to help you protect yourself from an attacker. Yes, yeah, so I spent the day at a local jujitsu training facility in Montgomery County for some self-defense lessons. Yes. It was the first time for me, so I have no previous skills on this. So we're going to show you some vital life-saving skills that ladies of all ages and sizes can try. Yeah, let's go. I'm a second degree black belt. Omar Crookshank owns Crush Crew Jiu-Jitsu in Flower Town. We are the first black-owned Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu school in Pennsylvania. They teach a variety of martial arts classes for all ages, and they've been offering free self-defense classes for teen girls after learning about that attempted abduction at the Willow Grove Mall in July involving a 14-year-old girl. We got to protect our, our kids and, and our women. So he showed me a couple key defensive moves that any woman can try. I'm going to do what's called base. Base is where we take a step back and our knees are slightly bent and our head is above our hips. That way, if an attacker grabs your arm or wrist, your feet are planted, preventing you from falling. Omar says make a lot of noise to draw attention and rip your arm away by pulling against their thumb. Hey! Team member Steve Westergaum played the assailant in this lesson where he tries to choke me from behind. Tuck the chin. Then grab their forearms and pull them close to your ribs. Then take two steps backward, yeah, bend the knees, and oh, lean oh. forward to prepare to flip them. One, two, straight out. Beautiful. It's a lot easier than it looks. Even if the attacker is trying to drag you from behind. We still have a, a good base here. Legs are going to be open enough, slightly bent, tucking your chin. He's elbow, yeah. Elbows are, are to his rib cage. As I'm pulling him back, he's going to take his outside leg, which would be his right leg, and he's going to hook. Hooking your leg behind theirs will cause them to trip and fall, giving you an opportunity to run away. Beautiful. See, it doesn't take a lot. It's just really simple about keeping your body up, your posture up, and then making sure that you're just remembering those key moves. It's key is holding their, their hands against your body. So you did a we can practice job. this later on one of our floor directors here. We'll give them a little psh, oh. um, <laughs> crush crew jujitsu. Any takers? <laughs> crush crew jujitsu. <laughs> Has a couple free self-defense classes coming up. One is tomorrow at 4 p.m. in Allentown at Exalt Jujitsu. Teen girls are free, and if moms want to join in, it. it's 20 bucks. And then there's another free class scheduled for December 29th at the Ambler Library. So take advantage. Yes. It's a great time to learn these skills. When I was watching the teen girls in that video, mm -hmm. part of me, I, I just got anxious thinking of them being put in a situation where they would have to use these skills, right. but also knowing that they know them, I just, I feel so empowered for, for everybody. Yeah, girl, we're make me feel them. safe as a mom. We're going to practice. We got some, we got some men's in here. I, I saw you. I don't, I'm not sure. <laughs> <laughs> the hook.